Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next example. We got to find this limit here. Limit as x approaches negative 5. Uh, the square root of x squared minus x minus 21 minus 3 over x squared plus 8x plus 15. So this limit's going to be a little bit intense. So there's going to be multiple strategies we're going to use in this one. We're going to have to rationalize. And then we're also going to have to use factoring. So we're mixing different strategies in this case. Now, first thing to notice is you can't do a direct substitution because if I plug in negative 5 for all the x values, I would end up with 0 over 0. So that's not going to work out, unfortunately. So what we have to do is we first have to rationalize that numerator. So we got x squared minus x minus 21 minus 3. I'm going to put this in brackets. All over x squared plus 8x plus 15. And so we're going to multiply this by this conjugate, the numerator's conjugate. So we're going to keep the ends the same and just change that sign in the middle. But if we multiply the numerator, got to also multiply the denominator like that. Okay, and so from here what happens is we'll have the limit as x approaches negative 5. This times that is just x squared minus x minus 21 without the square roots. And the negative 3 times positive 3 is uh, minus 9. All over this expression times this expression. I'm going to keep them separate plus 3 like that. And so now what's going to happen is we rationalize everything, still can't do a direct substitution, still can't plug anything in. But what we can do is first the numerator, notice the minus 21 minus 9, that would end up giving us uh, minus 30. So x squared minus x minus 30 is what we end up with after we rationalize the numerator. And then from here what we can do is we can factor. So we could factor the numerator, that would be x minus 6, x plus 5. And we can also factor this expression. So this would be x plus 3, x plus 5. And then we'll still have this expression, square root of x squared minus x minus 21 plus 3, like that. And now from here, if you notice what happens, the x plus 5s cancel out. And now we can sub in this negative 5. All right, so just an example of a limit. So first we had to rationalize, as I mentioned. And then after we rationalize, we had to factor. All right, so an example of where we can combine both strategies. And then, um, and then yeah, from here, now that the x plus 5s canceled out, we could plug in negative 5 because we're not going to have a 0 in the denominator anymore. So if we do that we would end up with what? Negative 11 up top, right? Negative 5 minus 6 is negative 11. Uh, negative 5 plus 3 would give us negative 2. And then this would be um, negative 5 squared is 25 minus negative 5 is 30. Minus 21 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3 plus 3, 6. And so... Um, the negatives cancel out, 11 over 12 is your final answer, right? So this limit uh, approaches 11 over 12. That's going to be a hole in the function. If you were actually to take this and graph it, it would be a pretty intense graph. But uh, basically at that x value of negative 5, there's going to be a hole, but the location of the hole, the location of the y value is going to be at 11 over 12.